Hi folks, it's Adria. Guess what? Today is February 3rd, so it's the day before my birthday. I'm so excited! Um, I'm going to tell you what I've accomplished, what I'm proud of, and then what I'm doing for my birthday, and what's different about my birthday. I'm going to be 33 tomorrow. I was born in 1978. Now, my mom tells me that I was born during the snowstorm of 78. But interestingly enough, when I look back in Noah, back to that day, I actually did not see a snowstorm on my exact birthday. But you know how parents are, things get fuzzy. But it's nice to think about it. The other thing is, since I live in San Francisco now, this will be my first ever birthday without snow. I'm so excited. But guess what I'm doing the day after? That's right, I'm going snowboarding. <laughs> So go figure that out. I'm going to be hanging up uh, to Tahoe uh, with another gal who I met here. She likes snowboarding too. I'm like, yes, awesome. Uh, so what have I accomplished? A lot. You know, and people always say, Adria, give yourself credit. You know, was it be compassionate to yourself, right? I moved to San Francisco. I've been doing all this um, technology work, consulting, public speaking, going to these conferences, and certainly time and time again stepping outside my comfort zone uh, because I'm an introvert and so introverts really like to spend time by themselves but I've really pushed myself and um, I've made a lot of new friends which is great and I think one of the best things is I just make videos to help people whether they're like this or I do screencasts and I just get like you guys like send so many nice compliments you leave Nice compliments on YouTube, on the you know my blog. You guys come to the trainings that I do at Fresh Workshops. You guys are like, oh, this is wonderful. And so it feels really good to be appreciated. But it's okay like when people don't say thank you too, because I still feel like I'm giving value. Of course, it is nice when people say stuff. Um, I have become a better dresser. Yes, with the help of some of my uh, Twitter and blog conference friends. I'm no longer wearing glasses. I went back to contacts, although I was a bit resistant. I don't think I'll get um, LASIK yet. Ugh, I'm just afraid. But um, so yeah, I've been really working to um, bring out the best features in myself, right? And not hide like I used to. In fact, my friend Denise uh, just came out here a couple weeks ago and she is very um, stylish. She threw away about half my clothes. We put them in the donation bags. She's like, mm, these clothes don't fit you. Now, why don't these clothes fit? Well, let me tell you. I now weigh 120 pounds. Normally, weigh 130. Um, San Francisco, you have to do a lot of walking. And it has certainly um, taken its toll. But in a good way. I feel the healthiest I have ever felt in my entire life. What does that look like for me? It means drinking, I would say... <clears throat> maybe two of these, three of these a day. That's a huge improvement from 10 years ago when I would brag to my doctor, I don't even drink water. I just get my liquids from coffee and food. Yes, a little special, I know. Um, not just that, I actually joined the gym uh, the beginning of January and I have been going quite a bit, um, pretty much every other day except for like the last week or so. So I probably worked out, what, 15, 20 times? It feels great. I do the elliptical for about, uh, oops, I do the spin bike for 10 minutes, do the elliptical for 12 minutes, and then I started kind of experimenting with weights. I was always intimidated because I thought, well, weights are for guys who know what they're doing and they want to get really big muscles. Nope, you can use weights too. So all the weight stuff I do is based around my thighs and my butt because that's what I want to work on. But what's been really nice is I've been getting tone and definition up here on my arms. I will give you guys a little peek. I'll show you something. All right, so if we look at my abs, you know, maybe if I turn this way, you know, this ab probably looks better. Okay, but you can see, I'm never going to get a six pack because I'm a girl, but like all my muscles, like here, here, my back muscles, and I'll tell you, my leg muscles looking good. And so I am like, I'm going to be 33. I look better than I did when I was 23. I look better than I did when I was 15. You know, of course, I always get compliments about my hair. That's another thing, too. Thanks to, you know, my friends who are good with glamour and beauty and feeling good on the inside and the outside. Uh, they educated me about the no poo, which is a way of uh, taking care of your hair and not shampooing it excessively like I was doing. So now I, I only use shampoo maybe once a month. Now, that doesn't mean I don't detangle my hair or use uh, conditioner. I do. Um, I get wet and everything, but I just don't use 
detergent like stuff. I've also switched some of my products. Anyway, so I love it. Thank you for all the compliments. It's wonderful. Um, uh, what else has happened? Um, I uh, often act as a mentor to people, uh, especially people who are gaining technology, programming. I did pick up Chris, Pine, Chris Pine's book, um, but I have not really started writing any lines of Ruby yet or moving towards PHP mastery. But I'm going to do that because I'm in the heart of tech land, right? In fact, there's a ton of tech women out here. And yes, I'm still working on that blog post. I want to fall in love with a geek. There's a ton of geek guys. I know. And they're everywhere. I've been trying to flirt with them. I have. You must you must believe this. I'm, I'm getting better at flirting. So anyway. <laughs> but no, I don't have a sweetheart for Valentine's Day. But that's so... It's not okay, actually. It's sad. Okay, but anyway... There's always next year, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> but I did open myself up to romance last year, which was really good. So I did go on some dates after a couple of years of not because of a bad relationship. Um, other accomplishments. I enjoy traveling now. Before I, I got stressed out and whatever, and now I look forward to it. I also am feeling comfortable calling San Francisco home. I actually am looking forward to coming back here after traveling. Before I was like, I won't go back to Minnesota. I'm okay. Um, I was able to drive zip cars um, now. It took me three months. I was a little scared I'd die in San Francisco traffic. Nope. I drive crazy like the rest of them. I love it. Um, some other accomplishments. You know, one thing I still have on the table is I have not submitted, um, you know, the stuff to get the book going. I really want to write this book. I really feel that I have a good understanding of cloud apps and I can explain them in a way that makes sense to people so that they can use them to save time and money. I need to do that. The good thing though is I get a ton of calls and emails and things uh, for uh, publications that want to quote me on stuff. So that's great. And in fact, I may be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned on the YouTube channel because I'm going to make it a video <laughs> contest, but uh, be giving away a Dell Vostro laptop, which um, it's a new business laptop. Was it the 130? Anyway, more on that later. Um, yeah, I'm doing different giveaways. I'm going to be doing some stuff uh, with TechSmith, uh, some maybe Camtasia Studio or Snagit for Mac licenses. So now that I'm back full-time consulting, you know, I also wrapped up Zendesk. That was interesting too, working for my first startup, uh, doing webinars, we uh, parted ways last week, had a great party. The photos are on Flickr, although I have not blogged about it. Um, I had a great time there, and it's a good product. I'm going to keep promoting it, but my, you know, my real passion is training. It's like helping people, and I'm really excited about uh, the classes uh, and the sort of curriculum I'm putting together. Also, I'm working to build partnerships here in San Francisco uh, for companies that maybe do other types of training, like maybe they train creative folks, right? Like Adobe is really popular. But um, I teach more core skill sets for business, like uh, blogging, uh, website development, um, SEO, and um, uh, keyword strategy, a lot of different things like that. Anyway, super excited. Um, I won't talk about Bluey because I, I didn't really accomplish anything with her. Although she's she's doing better, I'm not gonna cry. Um, yeah, and you know, really having a sense of pride and accomplishment about not being afraid to just try new stuff. You know, I guess I got new business cards, but I get new business cards every year. So those are things I'm really proud of. You know, that I feel like I've just mm, I, I'm still eating healthy. I've been doing that for a year and a half, two years. So I'm still not a smoker. Although I did engage in smoking cigarettes a couple of times this year. I'm done with that now. It's not good for me. They're self-hate sticks. That's what I call them. So don't smoke. There's a video over at Ask Adria where I talk about how I quit smoking in 2006. So if you need some support and strength and reasons to quit, go watch it. So yeah, they're just... Ugh. Um, I want to talk about things I'm grateful for. I am so grateful to God that I am healthy because I have friends who are not physically healthy. They either have terminal illnesses, um, like their body is just getting sicker and sicker over time. So they just always have the pain is always there, the, 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 the tiredness, the aching, whatever it is, right? And I thank God that I don't have back pain. I don't have neck pain. I have both my eyes. I can walk. You know, I don't have hip problems. I, I was in a car accident, but thankfully it wasn't fatal. Thank you, God, for looking out for me. Um, I'm also thankful that... I care so much about helping other people. They call that what altruistic. Um, I just want to make the world a better place. Uh, unfortunately, I guess I put like my own needs of 
uh, falling in love with someone behind that. But now I'm going to try to do both. So I'll try to fall in love and still love and help the world. Um, so I love it that my heart is focused on the right thing, you know, versus like being some crazy capitalist. Yeah, you got to destroy others to get to the top of the heap. Not really my thing. So I guess I would be called a socialist. Anyway, <laughs> um, other things I'm grateful for are I love Twitter. I will keep giving shout shouts to Twitter probably till I'm like 96 years old um, because it's really changed my life. I like, you know, so many people, I'm not going to name them all because I already made one list for New Year's, but I've met so many amazing people on Twitter and then to meet them in real life. In fact, I have two Twitter lists, one Twitter people I've met in real life and Twitter people I need to meet in real life. I just love it. I just can't even explain what it's like to connect with someone. Yes, in 140 characters. And then you meet in person and it's like, oh my God, you have even more in common. Now, of course, there are the weird people. You meet them in person. You're like, oh, you're kind of weird. But overall, it's been very consistent for me. The other thing is Twitter is... At least it started out as a community of people who are interested and passionate about things. And Twitter is a great place to get help from people, right? So people are helpful on there more than the general population. And I'm a helpful person, right? So it makes sense that me and Twitter go good together. Like peanut butter and jelly or almond butter and jelly. Anyway, <laughs> I'm grateful for a lot of stuff. So I'm grateful for my friends. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunities I've had. I'm grateful that... Um, uh, I can focus on spirituality and that I have people um, in that realm to guide me. Uh, people who are so wise and, you know, they take their time um, to, to give me advice. You know, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, looking forward, what's going on? Well, now I'm freelance as a consultant again. Woohoo! I really want to focus on training at Fresh Workshops. That's my big thing. Um, but also being an evangelist for the right brand. So I'm talking with some folks, you know, only things that I like, uh, do some more speaking, but a lot less speaking than uh, last year. Cause I think I went to about 12 conferences. I think I spoke at like six. Yeah. I'm gonna cut that down a little bit this year for, um, 2011. Uh, some of the other things I want to do, there's a certification I want to get. I've been putting it off for about two years, so I'm going to work on that. I got my passport last year. Nice job, Adria, but I have not used it, so I'd like to use it this year. Ideally, I want to go to London and Scotland, which I was kind of planning to do last fall, and I got pushed in the winter, and then, you know, don't go in the winter because it's bad, so I'd really like to go there. And I will listen to the advice of my client. Linda says, make sure when you travel that it's for business reasons so you can expense it. Linda, I'm with you. So, um, yeah, what other things? Uh, really just... Just, uh, oh, I, I think more embedding myself into the tech community here, which means going to more events. I have to say that my cloud score on Twitter is 63. I got invited to um, a cloud event a couple weeks ago to do that Audi um, a, a test drive. That was, it was okay. But I'm excited. I just got invited to a wine event um, next week. And then they were doing something else with LED lights. I'm not sure that I didn't sign up for that one. Anyway, so I'm really glad uh, that people feel that they can talk to me about technology and that they find me to be an engaging and interesting person, not just on Twitter, but in real life too, and I guess on my videos. So yeah, I am just so grateful to have the internet um, to be able to communicate with people. That was really my first understanding of the internet. Oh my God, I can reach outside my life and, and discover and learn from others. You know, it was just like this. I remember I had my dial up this is like 1990, oh my God, what was that? Ooh, when I had Turtle. Turtle, what was that, 96, 90, 96, 97? And when BBSs, I was like, whoa! And then um, well, and then, and then forums, ooh, and then moved up to Comcast internet, like around, what, 99, 2000? Anyway, let me not reminisce on the internet because I can go all night, which reminds me, I think I retweeted that, that um, the internet is running out of addresses. It's been like that for a couple of years. Anyway. <laughs> I'm excited at the new technologies I've learned. Um, I'm going to be 33 tomorrow. I'm glad that I don't look my age. Like people think I'm going to college and they'll be like, oh, well, good. You know, enjoy your, your college class. When they see me with books, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm grown. Okay. So yeah, I'm healthy and intelligent. I have a positive outlook on life. Um, I'm extremely enthusiastic, pretty happy most of the time. And yeah, I can't wait for 2011. Um, I just have so many great people in my life now versus like four or five years ago. Um, in fact, I remember journaling 
it was like December 6th, December 4th of 2006. And I said, one of my goals was to surround myself with positive people. And I can say that I have definitely manifested that now. And it feels amazing. So, to, oh, okay. What am I going to be doing for my birthday? Ah, that's the best part. Okay. Of course, I always play the, the Luke song at your birthday, you know, by Two Live Crew. So I'm going to have to play that tomorrow. <laughs> I hope my roommates don't get upset. Um... I have to play that. Uh, then I'm going to be going to the spa. My friend Denise turned me on to Korean spas. Super awesome. You can go and get services there, but you can also go for $20 and then just use all of their stuff. So they have like the hot tub and then they have a cold dunk pool and then they have a wet sauna. They have a dry sauna. They have this other room with some kind of weird lights that do something to you and there's some patchouli. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> and I, it's just, I've never even been to one before. It was like ridiculously interesting and relaxing. So I'm going to go do that. Um, I'm going to have dinner with some Twitter friends. Uh, and then Saturday, I'm going snowboarding in Tahoe. So excited. So yeah, I can't have a lot to drink. Um, Dave Chappelle's in town playing over at the New Parish, except, you know, I was too late to get tickets, right? I like found out too late. So I was like, ooh, like if you... He's already, he started with two shows, now he has four shows. If he does, like, Saturday night, like, because of, that's what he does. He goes over there and he, I guess he plays a bunch, and then he's like, let me just add some more shows. So if he were to do something like Saturday night or Sunday night, I'd be all over it. Um, so, yeah, and I'm also going to do some journaling. I'm going to do some reflection, some meditation, and some prayer, because I think that's one thing people don't do enough, which is say thank you, you know, for their, the gifts that they have in their lives. They take things for granted, and um, I've seen a lot of bad things happen to people. And I've seen bad things happen to good people. And so I think it's, I know it's important to be thankful and grateful for what you have because um, you appreciate that much more and you're that much more, and you are more willing. I'm not sure what how I'm trying to phrase that, but you are more likely to protect it because you see it as an investment, right? So... I, I do that quite often. So thank you, everybody. And I will um, I will be making a snowboard video slash um, photo gallery album. I don't know. I'm so excited. Got my board tuned up. Got my boots ready. So thank you to everybody out there. And I hope that you have an amazing Friday tomorrow because I know I will. Bye.